Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video. And also very quiet, because, um, my dad came home and he's sleeping. So he's also going to be snoring very loudly, but I also don't want to wake him up. Why am I recording this video in the middle of, like, 1.28 a.m.? Is because I just got off of work and I noticed that they actually announced the Back to School campaign, um, while I was working at the NYC panel. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Maybe I don't have to worry about it. And then they showed the banner that's related to it. So <laughs> I have to make this emergency video. And hopefully you can't hear it too much snoring in the back. And hopefully me being a little bit low doesn't distract you. So let's get right into it after that uh, quick backstory about what's going on in my life. <laughs> Let's go to the back to, sc back to school campaign. This will start on the 25th, which is also why I couldn't delay this at all. Um, it will be here at day roll. Here's the back to school campaign. It looks like this is going to be the thing we're going to wait for until... Because um, they confirmed in the panel. It's like the September 2nd is when the next Gouda Good is coming up. I don't have to say too much because they all literally did an entire video talking about this. But I'll just go over it and then actually go over the units real quick. So the login, special login for 7 days. This is up to 20 St. Quartz. On the first day it's 3. Second day it's 1. 3 on the third day. Uh, 3 on the fourth day. One on the fifth day, three on the sixth day, and on the seventh, six saints quartz. So make sure to actually log in. In terms of stuff that's going to be going on during the campaign, friend points accrued, accrued by all servants are doubled for a limited time. Some start dash login bonuses rewards are doubled. Just what we have now, but double them. Uh, limited time, treasure vault, quest, AP costs, one half limited time. Lineup of items available with exchange tickets increased by three to five. Um, oh, this is the thing that everyone was waiting for. Okay, yes, sure. Do it near the end of the month. That's perfectly fine. Five EXP card sets. And then what this means is that you know how we have three materials to pick from on the exchange ticket? Now we're gonna have two more materials that we can exchange for. And then five EXP card set added to the exchange mana prism in the Da Vinci workshop. And that's some of the things in there. And then in terms of the banner, we can look at it right here. It will be here on the 25th. It is a banner featuring Koyan Sky of Light and <laughs> Salter, which uh, is a pretty damn good banner. Funny enough, Koyan Sky is actually, I did an entire video saying like, hey, here's everything um, that's going to be coming up. And I didn't expect them to do it this early, but if it really shows that on NA, they will gladly bring back servants that are like, they know are high priority, like the support ones, early, if they think they can catch you off guard and catch you lacking before anything else shows up. So I'll go over the units real soon, and I think that's it for the back to school campaign. In terms of the, some of the other stuff they talked about on on here, obviously it's that Gouda Gouda is coming up, and I will have a video for that pretty shortly. I just need to wait for... Um, basically everything to return to normal. I'm, I've had a couple couple crazy days coming up, um, but I should be hopefully get that up by Tuesday. Um, yeah, so let's go into the units. Coin Sky and uh, Salter, Saber Altar. We're gonna start with Staple Altar. She is story locked. Oh wait, Snake Drinking Water, give me a sec while I transition into a better screen. There we go. Thank you, Snake Drinking Water. Anyway, um, Saber Alter over here, or Salter, however you want to pronounce her. Um, she's a Saber. Alt <laughs> she's Saber Alter, literally. She's a Saber class. Um, she has one quick, two arts, two busters, uh, two hits on the quick, two hits on arts, one hit on buster, three hit on extra. Her active skills, and this is after a strength thing that she does not have, so for us right now, it's this. Mana Burst A, increase on... Buster performance for a single turn, 50% on a cooldown of 5, but eventually it turns into this, increase on Buster performance for 3 times 3 turns, grant self uh, buff on attack for 3 times 3 turns, charges on MB gauge by 10% per enemy hit when attacking with Buster cards, ignores of its ability for 3 turns. The note here is, is that buff on attack buff affects own Noble Phantasm and charges MP with a number of enemies. Even if multiple enemies are hit at once, the number of buffs consumed is only 1. So basically, if you hit six enemies, but it's only with a single hit on the Noble Phantasm, that counts as 60%. At least that's how I assume it. So that means you would get back 30% for hitting the average of three, 10% if you only hit one, and so on and so forth. 
Uh, but we're not getting this for a while. <laughs> I think it's uh, a couple year, another year or so during strengthening. They got this during 2023, so that means we are going to get it next year at some point uh, during July. Okay, so yeah, ba basically a year away. Less than a year. A, a, a year and minus a month. Anyway, her second skill. Twilight Star A. Twilight Star A. Charges on MP gauge by 20%. Gain crit stars. Crit stars up is 20 on a cooldown of 5. Um, her third skill is Charisma E. Increases party's attack for 3 turns. 12% on level 12. The oh, man, I forgot how bad this is. She's a really old unit. On a cooldown of 5. Passive skill is Resistance uh, B. Her third pen skill is an anti-rider attack damage aptitude. I don't even have to say the thing because literally every single... Uh, I think Saber is in every single class, if you look through them all. Noble Phantasm, Excalibur Morgan, the Sword of Promise Victory. It's a rank A++ Noble Phantasm. Hits three times, deals damage to all enemies. MP level 1, it's 450% damage. If you get her to 650%, um, if you get her to MP level 5, she charges her own MP gauge. 10% to charge at level 1, and if you get her all the way to the final charge level, it's 30%. And then finally, she also comes with a very nice costume right here that you can see right here. And that is um, Saber Alter. Is she good? Yeah, she is very good as soon as she gets this buff. We're just going to have to wait a very long time for it. Um, also, if you're someone who already likes Saber Alter, you already know how big of a pain in the ass it is to get more copies of her because she is story locked. If you don't know what story locked is, story locked is a lot like limited, except for they decided to make you one degree harder to get for some reason. I don't know why, but they are. She's one of them, so she's kind of a pain in the ass to get coins for. Um, so honestly, if you are looking to get a banner that features specifically just Saber Altar on it, let me see. Let me look down here. It's a, it's a toss-up if this site sometimes has them, but okay, let me see. Epic Remnant Episode 1, Cosmic Release, this is in 2020, so it already passed. But you see what I'm trying to say here is that they don't have a lot of these. So she would have a right up during this banner, it looks like. Yeah, and shares it with Melt. Honestly, if you care enough about uh, Saber Altar and you want to get some more coins for her, just because it takes a lot to get a 4-star up there, I can understand it. It's similar to Bedivere, which I saw someone going for MP copies of. Even if you don't care about medals and you just want to get her MP up, she doesn't have a lot of banners. Even for me, myself, I played this game for since launch and i was only ever able to get her by using a ticket specifically to say i want an sr give me her that was the only way i was able to get her i was never able to find a good enough banner to justify summoning on her so i understand it's a big pain to actually go for but if you go for it you'll be pretty solid and then you just do like the rest of us you wait for this buff to come out that makes her very good it's a very nice big buff up that she gets um it even likes the only thing she probably needs now is just the uh, oh they probably won't do it for a while because she is very good right now so they might hesitate a little bit but it is you can really tell how old she is but when you look at like these two skills and then this one <laughs> they really said they really said back in the day nah for how much effort it took to get into this which was getting 20 ash 30 dragon fangs eight of these heart for, uh, eight of the heart of the foreign gods and uh, seven towns of chaos that's worth 12% attack kind of nuts when you think about it but anyway that's uh, Saber Altar next Coin Sky of Light um, not to be confused with Coin Sky of Darkness which is not the buster support that you're looking for I don't think she even counts as a buster support but anyway Coin Sky of Light she has two quicks one arts two busters four hits on quick four hits on arts Three hits on Buster, five hits on Extra. Her first skill is the In Innovator Bunny A. Charges in one ally's MP gauge. Reduces their skill cooldown by two. 500% chance to deal 1,000 damage without killing to party. Demerit, 50% to NP on a cooldown of eight. Her Noble Phantasm is the Aptitude for Slaughter Man A. Increases one ally's damage against human enemies for three turns. Increases their damage against man attribute for three turns. Grants them a buff on attack buff for three turns. Charges their MP gauge when normal attacking with Buster cards and then gains some crit stars. 50% versus human, 50% versus man, 10% to MP, uh, 20 crit stars on a cooldown of 6. Her third skill, 
is the NFF Special A. Increases one ally's booster performance for three turns. Increases their critical damage by buster cards for three turns. Increases their critical star absorption of buster cards for three turns. 50% to buster. 50% to buster crit damage. 500% to buster absorption on a cooldown of six. Her passive skills are Riding B, Independent Action EX, Independent Manifestation C, Shapeshifter A, Goddess Metamorphosis Guns B. Her third skill is an Anti Archer Attack Damage Aptitude. Um, and her Noble Phantasm is the Is Tula 7 Drive, the Spiritual Garment of Profound Brilliance, Type 79 Misfortune, Fulfiller Grand Trine. Rank C, Noble Phantasm, Anti World, hits 8 times, increases zone damage by 20% for 1 turn, deals damage to all enemies, and then reduces their MP gauge by 1. Her damage at level one is 300%. So if you get her all the way to 500, <laughs> if you get her all the way to 500%, if you get her all the way to MP level five, she gives 500% to damage. Her overcharge effect is charging the party's MP gauge. Um, at MP level one, it's 10%, and if you get her all the way to uh, the final charge level, it's 30%. And then she also has a Spiritom costume based off of um, this costume right here, because funny enough, out of these three, it's basically this one without the coat. As you can see here, code off. Slight differences. But that is Coin Sky of Light. Um, you don't really need to hear much from me to tell you how good this unit is. It, she's the reason why I had to start saying the, <laughs> the cooldown on a lot of Buster units. Because, because of this skill right here, this is what allows... This reducing their skill cooldown by two is what allows a lot of um, buster units to loop nowadays. For many years, many, many years, it wasn't actually possible to loop like the way you would with arts and quick with buster. There was probably ways around it in the sense of like, oh yeah, you use Arash and then you technically get like a 50% C and then you go there. But th that was the way you kind of did it. But with Koyan Skaya introduced, they basically said, no, this is a way to do it with just a singular unit and not having to worry about anyone else. But they had to be able to get their MP gauger back in the amount of time from reducing the skill cooldown. And to the point of like a lot, suddenly it changed how a lot of like buster units are like viewed. Um, a good example of this is like, um, let me see. Uh, yeah, Iskandar, because this is pretty recently, because they just recently buffed him on JP. When Iskandar released, he didn't really have any MP gauge, and the reason is is because he dealt a lot of damage, so they figured in his kit he didn't really need it because he needed some kind of weakness to it. But what they didn't realize is that when they released Koi and Skaya, it made the fact that he didn't have one mean that he couldn't be used to loop properly with Buster now that they had an actual way of looping, and it made him much worse until finally they introduced a way for him to get it, which was getting back 30% MP gauge, combining that with mana loading, let him start off with... Um, if you start off with a 50% CE, you get mana loading, you're at 70%, and then that way any buster with 30% MP charge can loop finally. The reason is is because you use coin, two coin skies and then you use an Oberon. If you have a 50%er, then it's a little bit easier to do stuff. But you can see here, all this stuff about loop, um, the reason we care about so much with skill cooldowns with busters, it's all thanks to this unit. And this unit does a lot for buster that they needed. The only thing she doesn't have is any defensive capabilities. Her only defensive capabilities is this right here, reduced her MP gauge by one. She doesn't do anything else at all, nothing. Everything else she does is based on attack. Um, so if you're looking for a defensive unit, that means that you still would rely on someone like Merlin or um, even Himiko, who's a little bit more defensive base, even though she doesn't um, buff the entire team's defenses, she's at least a little bit more defense focused, so she, you don't have to worry about her dying. But for Koinskaya, you do have to worry about her randomly dying to something. I know because I've used double Koinskaya and said, whatever, my buster unit will kill them before it becomes relevant. And a lot of the times what happens is that, yes, I do win, but it also means that Koinskaya dies pretty frequently. Um, but yeah, she's 100%. If you're looking to start looping with Buster, she's one of the units to get. The next one would obviously be Oberon. Uh, there are some units that can absolutely just grind by themselves with Koyanskaya. And later on, it will be even more units because JP eventually introduces um, this append skill, which will help reduce some cool skill cooldown. This makes it so that Arc can actually be used with Koyanskaya. 
um, because previously Ark could not because she like was off by like a single. She was off by like a single cooldown if I remember correctly. Archetype Earth. See so if you see here. Charges on MPH. It was seven. The magic number is six because that's how much you need. But by the time you use it, because the skill reduction of her first skill. We'll put it down by two. That means you drop you down to four turns, and that means um, you only need two turns to pass naturally. So by turn three, you'd be able to get them back. So you um, five is really nice. Four is crazy. Three is crazy as well. But six and five was always the number to kind of try and be around your skill cooldown, so you can get them all back with Coin Sky again, and then be able to have your buffs back for your third turn and be super crazy strong. Um, yeah. Coin Sky, very good. Um, but if you're not ready to summon for her now, there will be a banner with her literally near the end of the month. She's supposed to be our final banner for December. Now, unless they decide to just do something crazy and there's something else changing, because this is honestly is also pretty crazy to me to introduce her early, I can't really, read, but I can't really predict that. But just know there is going to be another banner. So if you're still strapped for Saint Quartz right now and you don't want to risk it, um then obviously it's a little bit better to save for when she shows up later but if you do have a little sync quartz of spare and you don't have her i would suggest going for her because she will open up a lot of opportunities for team building stuff in the future not only with looping obviously in general it's good to have a 50 percent buster one um and she's also able to be used with oberon because oberon like i said is another buster supporter but he actively doesn't like oh, um, Merlin, and he makes it so sometimes Merlin's buffs just don't actually apply. It's like a 20% failure rate for Merlin buffs for no reason. I mean, there's a storyline reason, but you get what I'm saying. He just makes sure that if you're using him, he hates them that much that you'll be lowered by it. So, Coin Sky doesn't have to worry about that, and you can use them together. Um, a lot of valid good reasons like i don't know i can keep going on but there's nothing i need to be said everyone at this point should know summon for coins gaia even me talking about it i feel like i don't say enough like the only negative i have for her is again the lack of defense but everyone knows that and nobody cares and that doesn't change the fact of how crazy fucking good she is they would need to release a new buster support that is coins gaia and berlin combined and then people would go oh there's something wrong with her like she can even technically loop like i've been able to do it myself but it is, does kind of require she lacks a little bit of damage at least that i found but that kind of goes away if you use her with the black rail um because that will make up for any of the damage that she doesn't get there at the end and stuff but anyway that's coins gaia i wish you guys the best of luck again sorry for being so low Hopefully you're able to hear me and the music isn't too over loud and you didn't hear any snoring in the background. But I will see you guys at a later date to talk about Gouda Gouda, which should hopefully be up by Tuesday. Because I got work to do. And by Monday I should find time to actually record. But for now, I need to get back to relaxing now and open this door too. Okay, till next time, you guys, wish you guys the best of luck. Peace out. Oh, and leave a like, subscribe. I forgot about that part. Okay, now now for real, it's over.